Good evening, soccer fans. Thanks for tuning in. Tonight we're going to be hosting the matchup versus the Monmoy Sharks and the Cape Cod Academy Hawks. Tonight I'm going to be com commentating play-by-play. -play. My name's Emma Mon, and I'm alongside Abby Sullivan, who's going to be doing the color commentating. Tonight is senior night for the Sharks, so that's a big game for the three seniors on the home team. And they're looking to catch the win here. In the past four games, they've had three losses and one tie, so this is going to be a big night for the Sharks. Yeah, it is also a very big night because they need four wins in the next six games to qualify for the state tournament. So they really want to get to that. So they're hoping for a win tonight to get on a good fit for the rest of the season. We talked to the coaches before the start of the game, and the CCA coach said that they have a very young team with 11 sophomores and some eighth graders. They only have three seniors, same as the Sharks. And he says that while they're still a very young team, they're working on building, and they're very athletic. We also spoke to the Monomoy coach before the game today, um, and he agreed with us that it was a very big night for the seniors, and he's hoping to celebrate the seniors with a win for sure. Um, they've had, like Emma said, a very tough week so far, and they're looking for a win to close this week out strong, and they really hope to keep the ball down their end and dominate um, that way to get a win for the game. Tonight we take a moment to recognize the student athletes in their senior class, the Monterey administration, athletic department, and coaching staff want to thank them for their time, efforts, and leadership in helping lead this the team this year to build a foundation for the future. Thank you very much. My agents want to hear about this. I'll tell you that right now. The seniors will be escorted onto the field for their final, se I'm sorry, their final regular season night game as the Monomoy Shark. Escorting Nick Meehan is his mom, Lisa Butler, and friend and teammate, Logan Ruthier. Escorting Catherine Sean Spees, his mom and dad, Jennifer and Alex Spees. <laughs> Last but not least, Captain Ben Thomas. Escorting his mom, Gia Thomas, and brother, Sam Thomas. At this time, the seniors would like to recognize Athletic Director uh, Karen Gilman for her support and time and effort she's put in to lead the Athletic Department. Please give us a round of applause for Nick, Sean, Ben, and their escorts, and Not Athletic around. Director Karen Gilman.
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and remove your hats and join us as Samantha Clark sings the national anthem. <laughs> Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. For the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red flare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the We are now going to send it to the player profiles. You hear the fear in their screams. Boaters getting a close call with a shark off Cape Cod. And now there are new warnings going up, 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 up.
In case you're just tuning in now, this is the mashup between the Monomoy Sharks and the Cape Cod Academy Hawks. Tonight is senior night for the home team, and it's going to be a big game for both teams as they compete to make it to the tournament. That's right. The Monomoy Sharks are 4-4-2, four, four and two, and they've had a tough week this week, but they're looking to end it out with a win. Um, they're hoping to qualify for tournament. They need to win four out of their next six games, so hopefully this will get them on their way to victory. You can see both teams in a huddle right now. And the Sharks will take their starting positions. And it looks like the Sharks also have the ball first. That will be Perry Como up at the center there. <laughs> There's a big crowd here of students for senior <laughs> night supporting their classmates. Uh, tournament wrap up. Big The Sharks are waiting for the whistle to blow to start the game. And there it is. Perry Como will kick it back to senior captain Sean Spees, who boots it up on the right side. Ball is out on number 13, Ryan Meehan. Cam Poles for Cape Cod Academy is going to take the throw in here. Looking to, to connect with Jonah Rivers. Ryan Meehan kicks the ball out of bounds, and it's going to be a white ball. Nick Meehan's going to take the throw in here. Sends it to Sean Spees, who's looking for the give and go there, back to Nick Meehan. The ball ends up in the Sharks' defensive zone. Great and turnaround by, Ted Clif er, by um, Clifton Wilson. Sean Spees is going to send it into the backfield, back towards Clifton Wilson, who dodges number 10 from CCA and sends it up the left side. Burns for CCA, sends it back over the 50 towards Monomoy's direction, but Ben Thomas comes up with the ball. He's moving down the center here, past three defenders. Cam pulls from CCA, comes up with the ball here. Ben sends a shot back, and goalie for CCA will make a save. Again, one of the co one of the things that the Monomoy coach said at the beginning of the game was that they really wanted to keep the ball down at the other end of the field and get as many shots on goal as possible during the first half. Nantucket fights for the ball here and wins it to send it back over to 50 towards the Sharks' direction. For CCA sends the ball towards the Sharks. Make a run. Come on, make a run. Kenny comes up with the ball for CCA, but Nick Meehan boots it back towards Connor Coughlin for the Sharks. Connor sends it in towards the middle looking for Clifton Wilson, but they can't connect. Sharks send the ball to their goalie, Ted Clifford, who boots the ball right over the 50. Number seven, Sean Spees. Has a nice touch towards Ben Thomas as he comes up the right wing. Centers the ball. Looking to, to connect here. Sean Spees has the ball at the center now. Looking to send it towards the backfield as Clifton Wilson will get gain control here and send it towards the left. Connor Coughlin with the ball. Sends it over defenseman Burns for CCA. And it's going to be a throw in for CCA. Oh, my bad, it's going to be a kick actually, and it looks like Barroso Marta for CCA will be taking it. Perry Como heads the ball. 
Pros for CCI is trying to dodge around two Sharks defenders, but can't come up with the ball. Connor Coughlin fighting for the ball in the in CCA's end. Ben Thomas with a header to the right wing. You can hear Monomoy's coach telling the players where they want for this corner kick, trying to make this have a strong impact on the game. You can see it was originally going to be taken by the freshman, Graham Pappenfoot, but Sean Spees comes up with the ball here, sends it towards Ryan Meehan, who's going for a shot on net. Sean regains control, looking for Ben Thomas to take the shot there. And Clifton Wilson sends a shot just left of the net. It's looking like the Sharks are doing exactly what they're planning on doing this game, which was getting the ball down the end and taking as many shots as they possibly can. Rosa Marta for CCA is going to take the kick here. As he does, connects with Ben Thomas from the Sharks. Connor Coughlin with a nice boot towards the net here. Great effort by Perry Como with the header there. And Thomas is called off sides, so the ball will be for CCA, and the goalie will take the kick. Nick Meehan comes up with the ball at the 50, and Clifton Wilson will boot it over the heads of CCA defenders. Leadham comes up with the ball for CCA as Nick continues to fight. Sends it wide on the left side to Connor Coughlin. He's gonna have to look for a cross here. CCA is pushing back as Connor fights to get the ball and keep it in the offensive zone for the Sharks. Nick Meehan will take this throw in for the Sharks. They're moving very fast pace. Great effort there by Nick, but it looks like number nine for CCA will head that out of bounds. It's gonna be another Sharks throw in and they're gonna switch up and have Sean Spees take this one. It looks like a kick. Sean sends it right across the goal here, looking for somebody to connect with it, but the goalie comes out on top with the ball. He's going to punt it back towards the 45 here, and Clifton Wilson does a nice step to connect to Connor Coughlin, who sends it wide. Ryan Meehan with great control of the ball here as he sends it back up the right wing, and it will be out of bounds on the Sharks. It's going to be a throw in by CCA. Looks like All another right. throw in for CCA. Hey, be ready, Sam. Be available, Sam. Quick throw in again. And the Sharks are really controlling this game. They've had the ball in their control for the majority of it this far. The ball is sent on a break towards hey, good run, good run. the Sharks goalie, Ted Clifford, back, who Ted, kicks it back. back up the field. That's a great play by Ted, making sure that his yeah. team isn't getting in a new danger. Cam pulls for CCA will be knocked to the ground here by sophomore Ryan Meehan, so this is going to be CCA's ball. Looks like Sam Shanahan will be taking the kick here. This could be a very dangerous kick for Monomoy. Goes straight to the goalie. And the ball is kicked out again. Looks like it's going to be Sharks ball. 
Captain Ben Thomas will be throwing the ball in here, looking to connect with his co-captain, Sean Spees, who puts a shot on net here. The ball will go just wide, but not out of bounds, and defenseman lead, lead him for CCA will kick that out. Senior Nick Meehan will take the throw in here for the Sharks. Connor Coughlin with the ball, sends it to Perry Como, and it is sent back towards the Sharks goal. Logan Ruthier with the ball now. Dodges around CCA defender. Clifton Wilson adds to the performance, and it's sent up towards Connor Coughlin on the left. Ball will be kicked out of bounds by CCA. Sean Spees will take the throw in again. Cliff, Cliff. Logan, Logan Ruthier sends it back towards him as he breaks up the left wing and tries to cut in. Connor Coffin will give it a second touch. CCA sends it back to the wing. The other side, Clifton Wilson has the ball here, looking to control it and switch fields towards Ryan Meehan. He's looking to send the ball right to Perry Comas' foot. Perry to Sean, Sean back to Perry. And the Sharks fight to keep the ball inbound here. The ball's right in front of the net. Connor Coughlin tries to boot it out of the air for a finish there, but the goalie makes a nice save to CCA. Again, the Sharks are doing exactly what they wanted to, was, which was to get as many shots as they possibly can. And they're still fighting for that first goal. Nice clear here by the goalie, with just 30 minutes left in the first half. Throw in by Ryan Meehan. It is booted back over the 50 for number one from CCA. Ball is sent towards freshman Papenfuse off the side there. Looking for Ben. Connects with McMeehan, who sends it to the backfield towards Clifton Wilson, who will break up the wing again. Ryan Meehan looking to center the ball here for the Sharks. CCA keeping up a good fight as McMeehan steps forward from the backfield. Sends it to Captain Sean Spees, looking for the boot here, up to Connor Coughlin, who's gonna send it back to the middle. Nick Meehan regains control, Clifton Wilson boots it back over the 50 for the Sharks. Papin Fuse keeps the ball in bounds and breaks up the side. Looks like it'll be a throw in. Sharks ball once again. McMeehan puts a shot on goal. The goalie comes up with the ball. Lots of this game have been playing right around the 50 yard line. This team, these, they seem very evenly matched right now. Kenny breaks up the side looking to This is CCA ball. Shanahan's going to take the throw. Oh, the kick here for CCA. Big boot here by CCA. Shanahan. And he's going to send the ball in the direction of Ted Clifford. Ben Thomas comes up with the ball here, looking to break up the center. Sends the ball towards Perry Como, who just misses. Gets back up onto his feet quickly, and Pavin Peace will come up with the ball here. Sending it back towards Meehan. Looking for the ball back here as Meehan sends it out of bounds. It's going to be a throw in here by CCA. It's going to be a white ball. Oh, blue ball. Cam Poles will take the throw in for CCA. Ball's thrown out of bounds here. And it's going to be a white throw in. <laughs> Looks like senior Nick Meehan's going to take the throw in for the Sharks here. Sends it towards the middle. Sean Spees is going to connect backwards to Clifton Wilson. Sends it up the side to Logan Ruthier, who regains control off a touch there and sends it back towards Sean Spees. Out wide to Connor Coughlin. 
Great passing here by the Sharks. These give and goes are really starting to work. Good. Sean switches fields towards Ryan Meehan, who boots it up to Pavin Fuse on the right. Nice outside foot there by Pappen Fuse, but can't connect with Ben Thomas. The Hawks will come up with the ball here. Not for long, as Clifton Wilson kicks it back over the 50. It's going to be a throw in here by number 20 for the Hawks. Sends it to 18. Nick Meehan settles the ball with a the header there. Pappen Fuse Dribbles the ball out of bounds here, and it will be a blue throw in. Last time these teams met, uh, Monomoy won five to nothing, and all those five goals were scored in the first half. So as you can see, this team is really aiming for the strong first half. Graham comes up with the ball and setters it right towards Connor Coughlin, who goes. A single touch there, probably should have looked for a direct shot as he had the goal right there in front of him. Logan Ruthio throws the ball into senior captain Sean Spees who centers it to his co-captain Ben Thomas in the middle. Ben dodges around number 10 for CCA, Connor Coughlin with the center, which goes just over the heads of everyone on the field. The Sharks are really trying to be aggressive here. They want to be the first to score and really set the tone for the rest of this game. Ben Thomas sells the ball here for the Sharks. Pop and Fuse sends it back towards Ryan Meehan. We'll boot it across the center, trying to connect with Connor Coughlin there. Ryan, you don't have to go forward. Sharks keeping good pressure. As they chase it out of bounds on the right side there. Ryan Meehan throws it in towards Sean Spees who heads the ball up towards Perry Como. Perry regains control, sending it back towards Logan Ruthier, who calmly boots it up again towards Sean Spees. Sean with the dodge there. Sends the ball towards the right side of the goal. Nick Meehan boots it behind his head. The Sharks really have the momentum in this kind of situation here. There's another shot goes on goal by Perry Como. Both coaches here are really emphasizing those short passes. Those are what's going to get the team farther. You can see that has been working for the Sharks here. If they can keep that up, they'll definitely get more shots on net. Clifton Wilson heads the ball back towards Captain John Spieth. Ben looking for the header there, but just missing. Pappen Fuse keeps the ball in bounds, sending it towards Ben Thomas, who sends it up to Sean Spees. Looking for someone to break there on the right wing. Great touch by Pappen Fuse and a shot on net that will go. And it's a goal for the Sharks. That was a great goal by Graham Papenfus. That's exactly what the Sharks wanted to see. The crowd is very excited for the Sharks. That was a great goal. Graham is only a freshman, so that's great news for the program's future. Yeah, both teams here tonight are very young. Each team only with three seniors, so they're really hoping to build their program in the next couple of years. Sean Spees comes up with the ball here, sends it back to Pat and Fuse, who's going up the right wing. Pat and Fuse to Sean Spees, who dodges around three defenders as Ben Thomas works to do the same. Shot deflected by a defender here. Logan Ruthier with the ball, sending it wide to Connor Coughlin. 
Connor with a shot on net here, and it's going to be a great save by the CCA goalie. Good choice, Connor. Good choice. Goalie sending it over the 50 here. Nick Meehan heads it back in the direction of the Hawks. Stepping up once again, verse number 10 for CCA. Yeah, the Sharks, you can just tell how they're playing is definitely different than CCA. They have so many more shots on goal. Lusty will send the ball towards Ted Clifter Clifford, who <laughs> calmly gains control of the ball and rolls it outside to Logan Ruthier. Keep going, Sam. Logan sends it up to Zach. Connor Coughlin. John Spees will rega regain control here for the Sharks. The ball is sent back into their defensive zone. We have not seen the ball in the Sharks defensive zone in a while, so this is something different. The defense really has to step up here. Hey, push up, Zach! Zach! Push up! Let's go, Sam, leave it alone, get up there. Come. Looks like it's going to be a direct kick for Zach. CCA. Get up, get up. Eli, Eli, take this. Up, 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 up. You can hear the CCA coach giving their team instructions about what to do on this kick. Go, go, go! They are deciding which player should be taking the kick, and it looks like it's going to be Sorrenti Burns for CCA. Sends a kick towards the goal here. Off of White there. And the ball will go just wide as you see some of the CCA players on the ground. Ted Clifford follows the ball to the side of the net there, making sure that it's going outside. Ryan Meehan up on the wing. That play could have been huge for CCA if they scored. Freshman, having pieces up with the ball again. You can see him using his great speed up the wing. Crosses it to Connor Coughlin, who taps it in. But it's going to be a save there by the CCA goalie. Another great save. Auntie Burns will be taking the throne here for the Hawks. My bad, it's going to be a kick for the Hawks. That is the second penalty, I believe, on Cam Archibald. And we are just under 20 here in the first half. So Auntie Burns sends the ball towards Cam Archibald, who heads it out, and it will go out of bounds for the Sharks, despite effort from Ryan Meehan. The Sharks have really had the momentum in this first half. Hopefully they won't lose it and they can pick it up. The ball was bounced around for a while there in the defensive end as Nick Meehan boots it back over the 50 for the Sharks. Papenfuss working the wing, as he has been all game. And we have two subs for the Sharks here, Ron Lipinski and Ben Banker. will be out of bounds on CCA there. Nick Meehan looking to take the throw in as the ref declares it blue ball instead. Barroso Marta takes the kick. Sean Spees centers it back with a header towards Perry Como. Regains control, sending it wide to Ben Thomas. Ben sends it up the right side. And it will be kicked out of bounds Connor. by Blue as both of my prom dates take the field. Oh, here comes my other prom date. Connor Coughlin comes off and Ryan Meehan steps off as well.
Nick Nean takes a throw in for the Sharks. CCA takes it up the field. It's broken up by the Sharks defense. Ben Banker will take it up the side to Ben Thomas. And Sean Spees in the center, sends it up to Perry Como, goes right by him, and CCA defender takes the ball. The ball will be out on CCA there. Ben Thomas! As fresh, uh, sophomore, Sam Chase takes Captain Ben Thomas off of the field. Ben's had a really strong game so far. He's a really key player for the Sharks, and this is also his senior night, so he's trying to give it all he's got. It's a one nothing game. Listen, because you're not playing your own group. Get it! Sharks will score there. Looks like Jan Lipinski. Another goal for the Sharks. And it will be a two nothing game with the Sharks in the lead. It's a great goal by Jan. He's a junior on the team this year, so that's a good thing for next year, looking into next season. Ben Baker sends it up the side towards Cabin Fuse. We'll send it back to Ben Baker. Sends it to Sean Spees. Sharks fight to keep up with the ball here. <laughs> Looks like CCA is going to come up with the ball here. Ball is sent towards number four for CCA. As the fights, Logan Ruthier with the ball centers it to Jan Lipinski. Harry Como will come up with it here. Logan, and is kicked out. Looks like it is going to be bottom boys ball. Nick Meehan will take the throw in. Nick Meehan throws the ball in towards Jan Lipinski, who will center it for the Sharks. Looking to connect with Perry Como there. Sean Spees with the shot on net, and it soars just over the top of the goal there. And the goalie's going to come up with the ball. Rosso Marta for CCA is going to take the kick here. As he does. Great step there by Sean Spees, who redirects the ball towards the left wing as Jan Lipinski looks to center the ball here. This ball is going to be out on CCA, and it's going to be the Sharks' ball. As two subs go in, Sean Gould, number 17, and Ryan Neither, number 26, for the Sharks. Harry Como will step off of the field as well as the freshman, Graham Pappenfuse. Again, this is a really key game for the Sharks if they want to make tournament. So this is a really strong beginning for them and it looks bright for them. Barroso Marta is going to take the kick as he has been all game there for CCA. Ryan Nieser will come up with the ball. Dangles around defender number 12 for CCA as he sends it wide towards Jan Lipinski, but it will go out of bounds there.
Sean, Sean. Another two subs go in for Monomoy. Carlyle and Ben Thomas both take the field. Cam Archibald and Sean Spees will be stepping off here for the Sharks. Again, both really strong games with Sean and Cam. They're also very key players on the team this year. Kick there by CCA and Carlyle will come up with the ball. Works wide towards Ben Baker. Tries to work it up the wing here up to Ryan Neeser. He's gonna give a give and go back to Ben Baker. Send towards Ben Thomas with the one touch towards Nick Meehan. Nick looking to center it there. Ben Thomas with the ball, a nice touch towards Sam Chase there on the wing. Sam settles the ball back towards Ben Baker. Who sends it back up the right wing here for the Sharks. Sam dodges around defender, looking for a shot there. Nan Carlyle shot just wide. Out, ball out on the Sharks. Looks like it's going to be a goal kick. CCA goalie makes it just over the 35 here as the Sharks regain control up the right wing. Ryan Neeser with a nice one touch towards Carlyle. Who sends it back towards Ben Baker. Looking to resettle it at midfield here with Ben Thomas. Ben sends it to Sam Chase. And another shot on goal by Monomoy. Looking at just about 10 minutes here left in the first half. Goalie will kick it. As Ben Baker connects with the ball there, sending it deep into the backfield of CCA. Ben Thomas with a shot and a save by CCA goalie. Again, Monomoy's momentum has been up all game and they really need to keep that going if they want this win. It's going to be CCA's ball here. And it looks like Barroso Mart is going to be taking the kick. He connects with Sorrenti Burton. But the whistle is blown and looks like it's going to be a CCA ball once again. Sam Shanahan eager to take these kicks here as the coach discourages from do him from doing so. Sorrenti Burns takes the kick instead. Great header there by Ben Baker, who sends it towards Ryan Neeser. Pose comes up with the ball and is booted out of bounds by Blue, looking to be white ball. You can see Sam Shanahan hopping the fence here to get the ball. <laughs> he throws the ball in for Blue. Carlito comes up with the ball for the Sharks, indicating that he's going to send it up the right wing as he does. Barosa Marta settles it for the Hawks as it is sent towards midfield once again towards Ben Thomas. Sam Chase will carry the ball up to the center. Carlyle has the ball now. Great footwork by Carlyle. So he sends it wide to Ben Baker. Tries to send it up the line there towards Ryan Neeser. Sharks defense has been strong all game. Nick Meehan following the ball back and keeping it inbounds there for the Sharks. Ben Baker up the wing. These are coming up with the ball. Splitting the defense there as he passes towards Sean Gould. Ball bounces under Sam Chase and towards Jack Fernandes. 
And it's going to be just a little bit wide there for the Sharks to regain control. Looking at about 7.30 left in the first half. John Lipinski will take this throw in for the Sharks. Nice ball by Jan Lipinski looking to connect over there with Ryan Neeser who fights to keep it out of the bound, out of <laughs> inbounds, but fails. Cam Pulse for CCA is dribbling up the side, working around many Monoway defenders. Sorrenti Burns boots it over the 50 for CCA. But Monway will regain control as Jack Fernandes breaks up the left side. Jack, go back. Go swing it. You can hear Sharks going for a swing here. And it is booted back down towards the Sharks goal and out of bounds. You can really tell that Captain Sean Spees and Ben Thomas care about their team a lot. They're always trying to help their teammates out whether they're on the field or not. You can see Sean Spees calling off Clifton Wilson here, who's had a very strong game on defense for the Sharks. Nick Meehan takes a throw in here towards the 50. CCA works to regain control as Ben Baker will chase the ball out of bounds for the Sharks. He takes the throne towards Sean Spees, who kicks it one touch back towards Ben Baker. Sean Spees looking to center the ball there. It's Jack Fernandes. Touches the ball to the outside. Working towards Jan Lipinski here. Great hustle there by Sean Gould to keep the ball inbounds, but it will be CCA's ball. Mm, number 13 for CCA goes out on the field as number 12 comes off. 27 is going to take the throw in here as Carlio fights for the ball for the Sharks. Ball is heading back towards the center of the field. Chris Kenny kicks the ball over the 50 for CCA. Chris Kenny is coming up the field for CCA here. Ben Thomas looking for the re to re the redirect the ball towards the goal here. He passes it towards senior Sean Spees, who sends the ball wide towards Ben Baker. Ben works the sideline up towards Ryan Neeser, who centers the ball back to Sam Chase. Sean Spees will have his back here and comes up with the ball, dodging around. Three CCA defenders make up four, looking for the shot on net there, and he will score. That was great ball skills by Sean Spees as he worked around four CCA defenders and a nice tap on goal there. Awesome goal by Sean on his senior night. That's a really perfect way to end it. It'll be three nothing for the Sharks here. With four minutes left in the first half, it's going to be three nothing here with the Sharks leading. Chris Kenny for CCA is gonna start with the ball here and directs it backwards. One step touch towards Shanahan here, looking to work it up the side and it comes back to the middle for CCA. One thing that you'll see for the Sharks is that they're always very aggressive with the ball. They're always trying to be the first to the ball. They don't have any problems with that. CCA can get the ball here. And they get the ball on net and score a goal. You can see Ted Clifford working to get out of net there. Not expecting there to be a touch by a CCA offender, and it just goes right over his head. And with nobody left back, the ball will roll right into the net there. It's going to be 3-1 to one with the Sharks still in the lead as CCA works in their subs. And Chris Kenny will get credit for that one. 
hopefully this does not kill the Sharks' momentum. That's one of the key things that they've been carrying throughout this whole game. Sean Gould will send it in the pass back towards Sean Spees, who will send it towards Carleo. Ryan Neeser comes up with the ball here as Carleo battles to keep it in the Sharks' possession. Carleo will boot it towards the center here for the Sharks as it rolls out of bounds. You can see the ball in front of CCA's net here. Sean Spee's working to get a shot off. CCA knocks the ball out as Nick Means tries to center it back in. Great defense there by CCA. Jan Lipinski with a shot on net. It goes over the net there. And it could be coming back out for CCA. You can really tell that the Sharks don't have any problem at all working as a team together. They all know each other really well and use each other's strengths to make them the best that they can be. A lot of these guys have been playing together for a long time and with only three seniors leaving next year, it'll be a great place for the Sharks to pick back up next year. Barrasso Marta taking the kick there for CCA. Connecting with number four for Blue. Ben Baker sprints back to make the defensive play there for the Sharks. And it's going to be a throw in for CCA. You can see number one for CCA, Sam Shanahan, is going to be taking off number four, Cam Poles. As number 20 takes a throw in for Blue. All right, Nieser comes up with the ball here, directing it to classmate Jan Lipinski, both juniors. Jack Fernandes, a junior as well, centers the ball here. Chris Kenny will come up with it for CCA. Nick Meehan settles it, sends it towards Jan Lipinski up the left wing here. And it will be kicked out of bounds by 27 for CCA. Be a blue throw in. It's 27 sends it over the heads of white players here. And that will be the end of the first half here at the MAC. Sharks are up three to one. Good start. The student section is looking packed here tonight, as you can see. Um, many fans came out to catch the senior night here for the Sharks. Lots of support here. As you can see, they're being shown right now. They're really excited for their seniors and what they're gonna do this game. As you can see, they're all waving, <laughs> saying hello. Pretty packed up there in the stands for the Sharks. Good. Yeah, good. Doing okay, I guess. <laughs> and we'll be back yeah. after halftime. Up like up the county road with his girlfriend from Virginia. He came from Virginia. And he's got that place off the Holcomb Rock Road now. It's kind of dead a little bit, you know, in the summertime, but, but uh, things will stop picking up when the cold weather comes. <laughs> and soccer season's over. Yep. That's when things will start.
Dude, that's so gross. No, you went like that. <laughs> Goal by that kid. That was. Yeah. 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 Seven tiptoeing through the pool. Of <laughs> 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 I know. Yeah. Yeah. First year, I remember when that was, and when there was big time basketball. All right, welcome back, folks. CCA is starting off the second half with the ball, and the whistle just blew. Sophomore Connor DeVoe passes it to Grand Pop and Foose up the side. Nice hustle, nice hustle, good job. Pop and Foose does not give up on the ball there, keeping with it as it is just touched out of bounds. Cam Pulse is gonna take the ball here for CCA. Sending it back to number 20 for CCA as he throws it towards number 12. 
Perry Como touches the ball towards Ben Rosa in the center. Sharks are going to have to get back here as Chris Kenny works to get the ball. Kim Archibald looks like he got pushed down. But the refs are saying it is a free kick for the Sharks. Classy act by Chris Kenny there for CCA as he works to help Cam Archibald back on his feet. Sean Spees is going to send it wide here to sophomore Sean Gould. Great hustle there by Perry Como as he works to get the ball towards Danny Arigosi. Lots of subs have gone in for the Sharks for this half, seeing that they have the two goal lead. You can see all, oh, two out of three of the seniors are on the bench now. Lifton Wilson with a great shot out of the air there, blocked by a defenseman from CCA. Sean Spees comes up with the ball here. Centers it, nice center towards Pappenfuss, who is double teamed by CCA. Sean struggling to come up with the ball here. Pappenfuss gives it a tap out to the right wing. As Cam pulls for CCA, tries to work it up the side. Danny settles the ball, sends it towards the middle there. CCA will send it back towards Monmoy's goal. Clifton Wilson will send it towards the right side here, looking to connect with Connor DeVoe. Andy! Hold on. Good, you're good, you're good. Who am I going in for? Andy. Andy. Very good. Two subs go in for CCI here. Nice hustle, fellas. 23 nice hustle. and 13 will come off the field for Blue. Good job. Number 20 Straight will take the here. throw in. Cam Archibald sent off his feet once again. By number four here. Large reaction from the crowd here, as that was a very unfair hit. Nice touch there by Cam Archibald as he centers the ball towards Perry Como. Ben Rosa will fight to keep the ball in possession of the Sharks. Great touch there by Cliff Wilson. Sends the ball towards TCA's goal here. And it will be out of bounds once again. Connor DeVoe sends the ball in for the Sharks. Sean Spees directs it towards the left wing here. Jack Fernandes will send it up the side here for the Sharks. Ben Thomas sends it to co-captain Sean Spees. Back to Ben. There'll be a shot on that here that will go just wide. The Sharks have a very strong junior class this year. They have a lot of returning kids, which will look for a very bright future in the next few years. CCA goalie will take the kick. Sean Spees will settle the ball there for the Sharks. This is sent back towards Jack Fernandes. Perry fights to keep the ball. Centers it. Great step there by number four for CCA as he sends it up to Chris Kenny. And that will be some bodying there by Cam Archibald. Retaliation, I'm assuming. The same player that just hit him down a few minutes ago. Will be another free kick for CCA. Shanahan's going to take the kick here for CCA as it crosses the 20. Ted Clifford's going to make the save here. 
kicking it outside towards the 50. Great moves by Ben Thomas there as he directs it towards Sean Spees who sends a nice ball right in front of the net. Peter! None of the Sharks can connect there. Peter! Peter! Danny takes... It's gonna be a blue throw now. Don't go in. Throwing by Blue. I know where you're coming from. I'm there. Nice header by Clifton Wilson here. As Graham Pappenfuse makes his way back, hustling for the Sharks. Good touch there by Chris Kenny, who's on a breakaway here for CCA. Looks like it's going to be a one on one with the goalie as he aims for the right corner there for CCA. And Ted Clifford keeps a great watch over the ball as it's sent just right of the net. Chris Kenny has really been showing up here for CCA. Yeah, and he's only a sophomore, so that's another really bright future for CCA coming up. As we said earlier, CCA has 11 sophomores on their team and Monomoy has 13 juniors on their roster. So lots of these kids are going to be returning players next year and they'll face off once again. Clifton Wilson comes up with the ball here as he sends it wide to Aragosis. Aragosis taps it up towards Connor DeVoe who will work it up the sideline, cutting in towards Pavinfuse. He sends it back to Aragosis. Chris Kenny comes up with the ball for CCA, looking to make another break here as he dodges around Cam Archibald. But it'll be a secure boot, boot there by Clifton Wilson. Sean Spees makes his way backfield to gain control once again of the ball, indicating the ball to go deep on the right wing towards Connor DeVoe. Watch him, you've got to help. And then it will be kicked out of bounds by Barossa Marta Attack. for CCA. <laughs> Ball will be thrown in there as Danny Aragosis makes gains control once again. Fights for the ball against Cam Poles for CCA. Good touch there by Ben Rosa. Great shot there by Connor DeVoe with a left foot shot there, which will go just wide of the net. It's going to be a goal kick here as number 24 for CCA makes his way off the field. As of right now, the Monomoy team is tied with Nantucket for league champs, which is a great accomplishment for the team. Looks like a handball by Sean Spees. CCA ball. Sorrenti Burns takes a kick here for CCA. Nice header there by AJ Lusty. Great send there by Jack Fernandes up the wing. And did a send out of bounds by Blue. Jack Fernandes will take the throw in there. Aiming for Sean Spees. <laughs> CCA comes up with the ball here as Chris Kenny works to make another break close to his third of the game and Ted Clifford will send it out to the right side there for the Sharks. Another great play by Ted Clifford. He has had a really awesome game tonight.
Cam pulls for CCA. We'll take the throw in here. Working around white defenders, and Sean Spees will kick it towards the middle of the field here. Ben Thomas on the break. He has no one on him, plenty of room. Fakes a shot there. And sends it wide to Pavenfuse, who's looking to send it back towards the middle. Sean Spees looking to come up with the ball here, but is defended well by CCA. Jack Fernandes with some great touches to keep the ball in the Sharks' possession. Harry Como will take a shot there from the 20, and it will find the back of the net, making it 4-1 for the Sharks. I got, I got number 20. Boy, it'll be a nice little hamburger helper tonight. I'm not sure about the assist, Karen. It might have been something there. Michael might take a look at that. The time of the goal there was 28-31. 2831. Yeah, bro, you remember that goal? Again, that is a, also a junior on the Monomoy team. Sharks working to double team CCA here. Keep the ball in their possession. Ben Rosa will step up and send it to the left towards Connor DeVoe. Great ball work there by Perry Como. Back to Ben Thomas who centers it. Clifton Wilson with a great touch there for the Sharks. And that will be a nice clear there by Bar Barosa Marta, who, along with Chris Kenny, has been playing a great game here. I'd definitely say the standouts for the game um, for CCA's team today have been um, number four, Cam Poles, number nine, Barosa Marta, and number 10, Chris Kenny. I definitely agree with that. And both all of our seniors tonight here from Monomoy have also had strong games. Ben Thomas has been dominating offense for the Sharks. Looks like another Cape Cod Academy throw in. Balls out once again. Now a shark ball. Sean Spees is going to take the throw in here for the Sharks. Directs it towards Ben Thomas, who will settle it. Oversteps the ball there a little, but still makes a nice pass towards Sean Spees, who gets a great shot on net. But it will be a save by the CCA goalie here. Goalie boots the ball. 45 as Danny Aragosi centers it towards Perry Como. Perry looking to break up the right side here. It's going to be a blue ball here, and it looks like Sorrenti Burns is going to be throwing it in for CCA. All right, blue, blue. Here we go. Blue ball once again. Burns will have a second chance at throwing in the ball here. Great touch there by Lusty. Cam Archibald will boot it back towards the direction of CCA's goal here for the Sharks. Pavin Fuse comes up with the ball. Dodges around defender and sends it towards Sean Spees. Sean's going to cross the ball here. Looking for a header. Not another goal there. I believe, I believe that was Perry Como with the header. 20, number 20 from uh, number 7, uh, 25, 41. That was beautiful. So that was a great finish there by Perry Como for his second goal of the night, making it 5-1 to one for the Sharks. That was an excellent work up the side there by Graham Pabinfuse, who sent it to Sean Spees with the great co cross there towards Perry. You can really tell that the Sharks work hard and really, really work together and use their teammates to the best of their abilities. The Sharks have not been giving up all night. The second efforts have really been counting here. Great clear there by Ben Thomas, sending it back up the right wing to Graham. Fancy footwork here as he passes it back towards Sean Spees. Oh, 
up to Dar Danny Ana Aragosis. Back to Ben Thomas. Ben looking to send the ball there to Ben Rosa, who can't quite connect. Aragosis takes his time here. Ben Thomas comes up with the ball, looking to break up the center. Great pass there towards Sean Spees. Chris Kenny sends the ball wide for CCA. And it will be a boot back over the 50 towards Monomoy goal. Cam Archibald working to settle the ball. As he does, directs it towards Ben Thomas, who redirects it with a one step towards Sean Spees. On the side here, we have a lot of subs going in for Monway. We have number 25, Troy Olsen, number nine, Logan Ruffier, number 26, Ryan Neeser, 15, Sam Chase, 27, senior Nick Meehan, and number 13, Ryan Meehan. And you can see here an almost complete flip of the field for the Sharks. However, they work to keep all three of their seniors into the game. Sean Spees is gonna take the corner kick here. Clifton Wilson looking for a header. Sam, go top! Gentle, patient, love Michael. You live a long time. I, I led him to the promise. Here we go. Let's go, guys. Sharks remain possession here as Nick Meehan sends it towards Ryan Neeser on the wing. Stepping in once again. Ben Thomas comes up with the ball, looking for a shot here, and it's going to be a save by the CCA goalie. <laughs> goalie punts the ball right to the 50. Great defensive play by Ryan Meehan there as he sends it up to number 25, Troy Olsen, who's also an eighth grader for Monomoy. Sean takes a shot on goal and scores! That will be Sean's second goal of the night. Perfect way to go out with the senior night here for Sean. And we have a switch of goalie. Sean DeVoe is going in for Ted Clifford. And we have a timeout on the field. Strong game by Ted Clifford as he makes multiple saves for the Sharks here and works hard the whole time. As we go into this timeout, the Sharks are up six to one with about 22 minutes left in the half. You can hear the crowd is really excited for the team tonight. This is an awesome win for them on the road to hopefully the state tournament soon. <laughs> All right, so we are back after the timeout. It's going to be CCA's ball off of the goal scored by Sean Spees. Thank you. 
All right, Sean Spees is taking the ball up the side for the Sharks. Passes it back to Ben Thomas, who crosses the ball. Fortunately, that was broken up by a CCA player. As the defense prepares. AJ Lusty for CCA gets called with a push. It's going to be a free kick for Monomoy. Right around the 20 yard line. Looks like Cam Archibald will be taking the kick for the Sharks. Let's play out, Cam. Let's play out. As you can see, both teams have been very aggressive all game. Around the back. Looks like the Sharks are trying to pass a lot now, since they seem to be winning by quite a lot now. One touch. Nick Meehan will send the ball out wide to Ryan Meehan, up to Ryan Neeser. The boys are playing one touch soccer here. Ball goes back to Carvilla. He has Troy Olsen up the side, passes it to Ryan Neeser. He's trying to control it. Ben will come up with the ball here. Shot on goal, caught directly by the goal goalie. You got you moving, man. We've seen great ball movement by both teams during this game. Ben Thomas cuts to the side as Sean Gould sends him the ball here. Ryan knees are fighting to keep the ball in for the Sharks. And it's going to be their ball. Looks like Ryan Neeser will be taking the corner kick for the Sharks. Hopefully they'll be able to get a goal off of this play. Howdy. What's up? Great clear by the CCA defense. Back to Cam Archibald. Cam will send it towards the backfield here. Ryan Mean will have the ball. And he's going to boot it. Great header there by Sam Chase. Sean Spee's working to regain control. Looking for that hat trick there. Oh my God, again. I got zoned out. I was like, wait. What? What? Where am I? Sharks get a strong throw in here by Nick Meehan. Headed into the goal by Carlio, but it does not get past the CCA goalie. CCA goalie's had a bunch of great saves there. He's had a lot of shots on net, and he's handled them pretty well. Great sell here by number 12 for CCA. Great send. Sean DeVoe's going to kick the ball here. Let's go Carlio. <laughs> he's looking for the handball there, but does not get the call. <laughs> he keeps fighting though, passes back to Ryan Meehan as he kicks it up the side. CCA defenders settle the ball in the backfield here. Sam Chase will come up with the ball, sending it back towards Logan Ruthier. Sends it up the wing, connecting back with Sam once again. Carlio fighting for the ball here. So much faster. It makes it so much more fun. Ben Thomas has the ball here. Looks like another free kick for Monomoy. Captain Ben Thomas will be taking this. Sends the ball wide towards Ryan Meehan. Who boots it towards the center here. 
Logan Ruthier with a nice cross here. Carlyle's going to be on the ball. Ben steps up. Dodges around one defender here. Two, three, and it's going to be kicked out by number two. Ben Thomas is going out there alone. He didn't have much help by him, so he just decided to take it by himself. Was able to get by two defenders very successfully and just almost made it by the third. It's going to be a corner kick here, and you can see junior Ryan Neeser taking the ball. Light pass towards Sam Chase. Center there. Shot by Clifton Wilson as he scores to make it 7-1 for the Sharks. Number two on the board. Number two is on the board. Time of the goal is 15:46. 15:46. Great play by the Sharks there. You can see this whole game is a real team effort. They're all in it tonight for their seniors. Chris Kenny is back in for CCA and he'll start with the ball here and pass it back. Lots of pressure by Troy Olsen. A little bit of confusion looks like on the CCA side. Clifton Wilson sends it up the left wing. Logan Ruthier will settle the ball very calmly here. Carlyle's on the ball. Working towards the middle. Ben Thomas will tap it back towards Carlyle. As number four for CCA will clear the ball. Nice boot there by 15. As Chris Kenny turns on his speed to try and make a breakaway here. Ryan Meehan tries to save the ball from going out of the bounds, but it looks like it's going to be CCA ball. Ryan Meehan with a great kick there. Settled by number two for CCA. And it will be white ball here. Ben Thomas is going to take it. Subs are going in. Jack Fernandes, Ben Baker, and Danny Aragosis. Thanks. Kim Archibald has really been a key player for Monomoy this game on, on defense. Carly Hill uses nice foot footwork nice, nice. to get by some defenders. Yeah, man. He's still working up the side. Sean Gould will take the field now. Sending Ben Thomas off. Just 14 minutes to go here for the Sharks. Danny works the ball towards the side. Nick Meehan will center it. Sean Gould will push off number nine for CCA. Next up to buddy. All set, all set. Here we go. Troy Olsen breaks up the kick and sends it back towards CCA's goal. As the defender kicks it up the side. Chris will come up with the ball once again. Trying to get another breakaway it seems. Jack Fernandes will put on great pressure here. Cross it towards the goal. Logan Ruthier will kick the ball. Sean DeVoe is going to come out with the save here. Great save. He's also a freshman on the team. Another young player that will come up and be very successful for Monomoy in the future. Strong throw in there by Sean. Looks like the ball went out of bounds. It'll be a CCA throw in. Oh, 
Carlyle comes up with the ball, sends it towards Danny. Danny was up the right side here, sending it towards Sean Gould. Sean has a great step towards Sam Chase here, who now has the ball. Sends it to the left. Troy Olsen with a great boot there. Carlyle's right in front of the net. Working to follow the ball until it's out of bounds. Nick. As number 22, Ben Rosa comes in for a sub. And it looks like Nick Meehan will be taking, will be being taken off the field. Audrey. Number 30 will be taking the field for CCA. Ryan right, Neeser will be taking the corner kick here for the Sharks. Since they're just in front of the goal, and that's going to be a great save there by the CCA goalie. Lots of pressure on him during that save, but he was able to pull out. Looks like all of Monomoy seniors are now off the field. Sharks regain control of the ball. Sam Chase will take it. Aragosi's up the side here. Up to Neither. Carlyle. Jan Lipinski will be taking Carlyle off the field here. Hold up, 1-8. Hold up, buddy. Did he leave yet? No, I know. Hold that. Danny. Danny. You're good. Aragosis will throw the ball in for Monomoy towards Ben Rosa. CCI is going to come up with the ball here and send it back over the 50. Jack Fernandez keeps from number 10 getting another breakaway for CCA. Great clear there by Ben Baker. Now Lipinski comes up with the ball here and launches it. Shot on goal by Jan Lipinski, goes through the goal post. Connor Coffin's going to take the field here for the Sharks. And number 23 is going to get out there as well for CCA. Off the field comes number 4 for CCA and number 9, Logan Ruthier for the Sharks. Sean Spees, uh, Sean Gould settles the ball here, sending it back towards Danny Aragosis. Number 10, his speed's really kicking in here as he's looking for that break up the left side of the field. Strong recovery there by Danny as he works to box out number 10. Danny is still fighting along with Ben Baker now. And CCA attempts to cross it, sends it back. And the Sharks regain control. Great touch there by Connor Coughlin as he sends it wide towards Jack Fernandes. Balls back towards the center with Sam Chase. Troy Olsen will come up to the sideline on the left here for the Sharks. Great pass, sending it forward towards Sean Gould. Sean's going to cross the ball here, and it's going to go just wide. Around eight minutes left here. So I'll review tomorrow. I'll put something in the mail tonight. (laughs) 
All right, another goal kick for the shark, or for, uh, excuse me, CCA. Sam Chase hits one of the CCA players to the ground and the shark tank is going crazy back there. The fans are very involved tonight. It's great to see the support for the seniors. Sharks are caught just a little bit out of position here as they clump towards the ball, giving CCA the opportunity to gain possession. Just over six minutes remaining here in the game as the ball rolls out of bounds. Ben Baker takes the throw in here for the Sharks, sending it towards Ryan Neeser, sends it up to Lipinski. Connor Coughlin will watch the ball roll out of bounds and then pick it up for the throw in for the Sharks. Sending it up the left wing towards Troy Olsen, who one touches it back towards Connor. Looking to switch fields here. As he does, Ryan Neeser coming up with the ball. Sending it to Sam Chase. Sends it back to Neeser. Back to Chase here. Neeser works. The ball is settled by Troy Olsen. Fights to keep the ball inbounds. Great one touch soccer here by the Sharks. The ball is centered for the Sharks, but CCA breaks it up. Troy, oh, Sam Chase up with the ball here, looking for a shot. Redirected by the CCA defenseman. 23 is looking to break here up the wing. Eric Osi settles the ball. Neil Lipinski coming up with it now, sending it towards Troy Olsen, who's going to center it. <laughs> Sean Gould's going to center the ball towards Danny. Ryan Neeser looking at almost an open net here. And CCA regains their shape on defense. Ball is kicked out of bounds. Looks like it's going to be white ball once again. Just four minutes left here in the second half. Sharks leading seven to one. Ben throws it into Neezer. Once again, the ball is kicked out of bounds by a CCA defenseman. And the Sharks will have a throw in. Ball is centered, Sam Chase settles it. Sharks putting on great pressure here. Ball goes out of bounds again. I believe it's a shark ball once again. Neezer's going to be taking the throw in. CCA coming up with the ball here, dodging around defenseman for the Sharks. The Sharks are going to regain control here. Shanahan for CCA is going to take the field now. Perfect in time for a CCA throw in. And number 12 will come off the field for Blue. Sharks defenseman working hard here to keep the ball out of their zone. Connor Coffin with great defensive skills here. Looks like 
Ref timeout to check on number 10. Make sure he's feeling okay. Connor Coughlin's going to take the kick here for the Sharks. Sends it up the left towards Troy Olsen, who settles it nicely and centers it. Troy Olsen takes it up the side. Great Hi. work by the eighth grader here. Von Jan Lipinski with a great play there to sweep the ball away from the CCA. Chris Kenny takes, comes off the field for CCA. And that will be the end and of the game. And that is the game, folks. Monomoy Sharks win 7-1. to one. And on senior night, they had a great turnout from fans. And they played a very strong, hard fight.